gave me. This is a review on my clam auger plate. I have it hooked up with a 6 inch Eskimo auger and a very basic Craftsman 19.2 volt uh, electric drill. This drill has 410 inch pounds of torque. They recommend 400 minimum, so this is what I would consider the minimum. Um, and I have the drill paired with a aftermarket Craftsman battery. This is 3 amp hours. This is a um, NIMH battery, nickel metallic hydride. And I'm going to test it today on the pond at my house here, the koi pond. It usually holds about anywhere from two to four inches of ice. So we're going to try it out today and see how it cuts. You want to make sure you keep it on low setting and on drill. That way it has full torque. So we're going to try it out and see how it works. That works pretty good. And basically I'm just cutting two holes to vent the, t the, uh, the pond and also any rainwater or any melt will feed into the pond and the ice also won't expand. It'll have a, a place to close up so it doesn't break the pond either. So I'm just going to open it up on this one and drill straight through. Let's see how it goes. That's got about five inches of ice on there. And uh, that cuts right through that pretty good. I am really impressed. I'm going to cut one more because that's fun. I am very impressed with this. That ice is significantly thicker. That right there is nine inches of ice. So again, this is my review of the clam auger. Um, I haven't been able to test it out on a lake yet, but based on that, that will definitely cut through with a Craftsman drill. A lot of people say Craftsman won't do it, but if you get the one that has 400 inch pounds or more, it will work with a six inch auger with no issues. So that's my review. I hope you find it helpful. And uh, leave a comment, like, whatever you wish to do. Thanks guys, fast hunter out.